I'm sad to find myself in the position of rising to speak against the motion brought before us today. What we're debating at this moment is protecting the health and safety of all in Parliament House, and that's surely a very worthy topic of consideration. Indeed, this is a question which is exercising the minds of much of the population of Western Australia in their own workplaces and across their daily lives. I am not convinced that this is the main thing that our population is worried about, though. They're very understandably worried about the cost of petrol, which is at the moment threatened to breach $2 a litre, something which no one will rejoice in. Is this not a topic worthy of consideration? Is it not a topic more valuable to the population we have sworn to serve than debating whether one of our members be permitted to sit in the chamber? We're talking here about someone who has been elected as a member of parliament whose views I do not share, I must put it to you, I do not share those views, but what I do uh, insist upon is that the rights of the individual not be interfered with by allegations of the danger to others which are not borne out by science. One of the points I was going to make was that I, as a medical officer, would have dearly loved permission to listen to the chief health officer to hear what advice he is giving because I am in great doubt as to what the veracity is. And over the last three months, I have been regularly denied access to the chief health officer from whom I could get the information I require to be able to support or not support this movement. And if that is the case, then what we're saying here is that we are lacking transparency in this, we're lacking information, and this actually is part of the reason why the population outside is so angry. I can heartily say that based on my own experiences, I would be very happy to support the motion, provided I was able to have the information to me which has been denied, and therefore I doubt that we are actually seeing the truth as expressed by the government. So while I'll cut this short, uh, I would have hoped that the members would have been interested in the background to this, the wider context. But if that is not an interest shared by the members of this uh, parliament, I'm happy to explain this uh, behind the chair. But it is a matter of supreme distrust and a supreme discontent that we are not being allowed to uh, express ourselves as properly elected individuals, uh, but we are being, uh, if you like, hounded by uh, principles which are not borne out in medical science. And with that, I will end this contribution.